And here we are. I'm Pedro Torres casting here with LDF this finals. What's up? How are you doing, LDF? All good? I'm doing good, and I'm excited for the finals here. We got Zacian Ludicolo, or Zacian, sorry, versus Suicune Ludicolo. Um, believe it or not, two V Pokemon decks in the finals. No V Maxes in sight, just basic V Pokemon battling it out. Arguably the two best basic V Pokemon in the game right now, Suicune and Zacian battling it out really exciting and honestly awesome to see that um after the big eras of three prizers dominating the game correct i'm, I'm really excited to actually watch this finals between twinkle ludicola and sassia and as you said really surprisingly to see no v maxes in top eight we had the two mio v max we had jolteon v max uh, we had urshifu v max but in the finals there is just v pokemon just basic pokemon yep. consistency no evolution and maximum two prices. So uh, I want to see the chat if you are rooting for guys from uh, Gabriel with Suicune Ludicolo from Brazil or Joshua with um, this Sassy and Samacenta or Anguru deck. What are you rooting for, guys? What do you want to actually watch uh, to win these amazing finals? We're going to figure out in this uh, mm -hmm. game. So actually, Joshua started with the Sassy plus Onaguru with the Flowstone, actually putting the Stadium in play, and thanks to that, Sassin is going to be able to heal 30 damage every turn if the Stadium is not countered, and thanks to that, uh, Inteleon abilities are not going to be that strong because of that, because you can actually heal the damage from Inteleon yep. abilities, and Sassian healed for 230, uh, not able to kill Suicune if Suicune has a cape, and Suicune actually mm -hmm. healing for maximum 220, but in this matchup, I guess Joshua is not going to bench a lot of Pokemon, right? Just some Sassian, some Asenta on a Guru, but not, probably not yeah. even some Asenta because no B Max. So just a few Sassians. So I guess Suicune damage is not going to be maximum to 20, but probably 180 or 160, right? Yeah, honestly, I want to say Josh, I think, is favored in this matchup. Josh doesn't really play much Pokemon. Um, and I think, honestly, the thing is, Josh is able to one kill the Suicunes. I mean, it might be a bit of a back and forth because I guess. Um, Gabrielle can drop the Ludicolo on the Zacian to want to KO it. But overall, I, I, I think Josh might actually be slightly favored here because of the fact that he does one-hit KO the Suicunes with uh, Zacian not needing to establish any Stage 2s. And uh, Josh also plays two copies of Tool Scrapper, which will be very helpful um, to remove those Cape of Toughnesses. So I think Josh might be a little bit more favored in this matchup, but I think it'll be very close thanks to Suicune having the ability to one-hit KO um, the Zacian with the Ludicolo, but if he's unable to get the Ludicolo established, um, the Suicune won't be, you know, one at killing the uh, Zacian. That's correct. And now, after we saw that top eight match, uh, Joshua is repeating the strategy to just uh, hitting energy on Intrepid Sword, attaching the uh, energy for the turn, and boss ordered the first Suicune for the first two prizes. That's the same strategy that Joshua did in the top eight to advance to the top four, and now repeating that in top. Sorry, in the finals, thanks to that, uh, you know, uh, Intrepid Sword, mm -hmm. Energy per turn, Boss Order, and Suicune had no Giant Cape. So, as you said, I guess the matchup probably, Joshua is in a fine spot, actually. Tool Scrapper helps a lot against the Cape, because uh, mm -hmm. if no Cape in Suicune, just Sassian takes one prize, uh, sorry, two prizes in just one turn, thanks to the Brave yep. Blade, Broken Attack, hitting for 230 for just three metals, and Gabriel Chance... Is uh, trying to get the Ludicolo to yeah, one. It looks shot. like we are going to yep. see that. Correct. The one hit the Sassian. And as you said, there, it is. there mm -hmm. we go. Looks like if Relic Hand in Hand, Ludicolo is a big option. And thanks to Inteleon, he actually got the combo. So, yep. That's actually the Relic Handy Ludicolo ability hitting for 100 is. damage extra. Enthusiastic Danes. And that's going to be 200 damage, if I'm not wrong. So, actually, um, Sorry, 220 damage because Oranguru yep. is in the bench. So that's only going to be a clean knockout. And Joshua has only Oranguru to respond, right? Yeah, uh, Gabriel's actually putting on some good pressure here. I mean, he's got another Lombre in the background, so he doesn't have to get another Rare Candy. He can just scoop him at the Ludicolo to get with another knockout. And uh, Josh here needs to get Zacian, Metal Saucer, Energy Saucer, plus a Tool Scrapper to take out the Suicune here. And if he's unable to do that, the Suicune might be able to just KO another Zacian thanks to the Lombre being on the bench, not needing the Rare Candy. So I think Gabriel's actually in a pretty commanding spot right now. Um, Josh definitely needs to uh, get the proper uh, proper combo here, but 
it's looking decent for uh, Gabriel. Definitely. Right now, uh, after this amazing Ludicolo comeback and Lombre in the back, what well, is uh, super cool because, as you said, you can actually go Ludicolo next turn with no Red Candy, just an Evolution Incense. Um, Joshua needs a big combo to actually come back uh, this spot. Joshua just needs, like, yep. uh, with this hand, uh, Joshua has Sassian and Saucer. So I guess Joshua needs Metal Energy and another Metal Saucer with the yep. research in hand and a potential Scrapper this turn or in a future turn because you can actually Scrapper later the cape. So Joshua needs a, needs a lead also another Sassin in play to, to put pressure to Gabriel. So let's see if actually that's a Marnitop. Let's see if Joshua hits the second Saucer at yep. least. That's going to be so important. And Primate Wisdom to actually save or to actually uh, draw another card. There we go. Ooh. No, no metal saucer. No Does find the scrapper. Saucer. So if Josh can get a, if Josh can get a, uh, a saucer here off of his primate wisdom, he will be able uh, to kill the Suicune let's here. See, does the so last let's see. chance to get the metal saucer? No. No. Rip. So looks like Entrevitor is coming, and Gabriel is putting mm -hmm. a lot of pressure now thanks to the potential boss order. So yeah, I also saw Sassian was in a fine spot in this matchup, but for now, Ludicolo puts a lot of pressure because it's easier for Gabriel to just go Melanie, Melanie, Melanie and attack every turn, but yep. for Joshua, to do the same, you need to do double saucer every turn, right? What is going to be way more <laughs> complicated. So I guess Intrepid Sword putting Oranguru in play in the active looks cool because uh, if uh, Gabriel killed Oranguru, Gabriel still needs two more knockouts to win the game because uh, it's going to be a three prize remaining, but Right yep. now, Gabriel with boss order plus a potential uh, second Ludicolo later uh, or this turn, of course, uh, is going to actually uh, win a lot of tempo. But, uh, well, uh, Joshua has still has the chance because the tool scrapper, there is no more Suicons for Gabriel's side. So even if, even if I think Suicon is uh, in a fine spot, oh, the escape rope just... Ooh. Oh my goodness, yep, there that's, we that, go. that's just a boss order, right, for free? <laughs> yep, yeah, basically, and you still get a supporter for turn, so we're probably going to see Gabriel knock out one of the Zations here. Um, all uh, Gabriel needs is just the scoop-up net. Oh, maybe he actually doesn't have any scoop-up nets remaining, though. Yeah, uh, Gabriel's actually out of scoop-up net, so he only has one Ludicolo left to work with. That actually could make a big difference in this match here. Um... Yeah, that could be a big deal. Only having one Ludicolo left to work with, meaning that you can only do one more big KO with Suicune because Josh is not going to walk into a Blizzard Rondo for knockout without the Ludicolo. So that might make things a little complicated uh, for Gabriel here, but I think he'll be so far ahead that he can probably use two Suicunes just to KO one Zacian and still be fine. Uh, but we'll have to see, though. Yeah, that's an important point uh, that you said. Uh, with no scoop of nets, there is only one Ludicolo for the rest of the game. Uh, so definitely, Gabriel needs to actually... Oh, he actually decided to discard the Marnie. What is in interesting huh. how you actually decided to thin the deck with that yep. uh, Drizzle and decided to just uh, discard a card you're probably not going to use anymore because of Melanie. And that's mm -hmm. a fleet floated ability, really cool ability in this format to actually draw an extra card for free. And, um, well, with no more nets, yep, I guess Gabriel needs to just attack. Even with the Stadium, this is going to be 130 damage total yep but uh, yeah only one ludicolo could be priced so gabriel needs to at least two hit ko one of the sassian so thanks to the scrapper actually big big turn mm -hmm. for uh, joshua this turn uh if joshua is able to find one energy i guess uh, joshua is gonna be in an insane spot there we go yep there we go even two saucers yeah, yeah i think uh, now josh is in a pretty good spot here he's able to kill the suicune here um, and he'll be able to prevent, um, potentially make it hard for Gabriel to KO this next Zacian. I mean, Gabriel just basically needs to find a second Ludicolo here to KO this active, and then he can knock out that heavily damaged Zacian for game. So still not over for Gabriel yet just yet, but it's not looking good. It might come down to whether or not Josh can actually get a second Scrapper if uh, Gabriel still has a Cape left in the deck. He's really going to need to use Suicune Cape here if he wants to um, prevent the Zacian from KOing this next Suicune here. So we'll have to see if uh, Gabriel can find that cape to protect the Suicune, if he even has it in the deck. Yeah, he still has one cape. So he has to cape the Suicune and then hope Josh doesn't find Tool Scrapper. That's correct. So right now, the point of the game, as uh, you said, is uh, Gabriel hitting the giant cape, Melanie, Ludicolo. If uh, Gabriel has that four cards in hand, 
uh, he can actually take the prize into this Asian and then boss for game. But if Melanie, that means no Marnie. So Joshua yep. is definitely going to uh, keep the cards in hand with this double saucer plus a research. So it's going to be a really interesting turn to see if Joshua gets uh, the mm -hmm. second tool scrapper to win the game because uh, definitely it's going to KO. Oh, but probably Ludicolo attacking Ooh, wow. the Sassian. That KOs it too. Wow, okay. That changes everything. Correct. That changes everything. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Now, Josh just needs to find a boss to win the game. He doesn't have one in his hand. His hand is massive, but he has no boss. So he has a... Pr I think he has one Primate Wisdom to work with here. Potentially two if he can shuffle his deck. Um, oh, oh. <laughs> Never mind. He drew the boss. Mm-hmm. And probably with, uh, yeah, Swigun Active and Ability, plus some Captures, Level Boss and Quick Balls, probably put in pressure and turn to actually hitting for probably 100-something. So let's see this game two. Gabriel going first, and, uh, well, let's see how it goes, right? Yeah, I think, um, I think Josh definitely... Um, is going to be fighting here an uphill battle, potentially, because going second and not first, especially if Suicune can kill the Zacian next turn with another Ludicolo. Um, but if not, I mean, Josh could still get, like, an insane Intrepid Sword, get a lot of energy on the Zacian here, and potentially start playing aggressive there. We do see these low tad come down, and there is the Cape of Toughness Quick Ball, probably going to get a Ranguru, and then we're probably just going to see the Research here. Um, no, he's actually looking up for Zacian. No, there we go. Yes, the Guru. Yeah, we're probably going to see the research here um, and just kind of try to find some stuff. If he finds an energy, he can put on top of the deck. There we go. He can mention Zacian, capes both of them. Yeah, Wisdom's energy. So he will get an energy in play, guaranteed on Zacian here, threatening the turn two uh, KO with uh, Brave Blade, potentially. Well, actually, I guess... Uh... Sometimes uh, Sassian players don't play quick balls at all because you, in, especially in previous format, you just play another cards uh, with like uh, capture energy with uh, Lucario Metal and Giant in the past. So in this new format, the only way to get Sassian is quick balls, and I guess Joshua mm -hmm. was so happy to find that quick balls plus Sassian uh, in play because he's like, all right, I need to find Sassian. I need to find Aranguru. I only have quick balls to find them. There we go. That's the quick balls. And yep. actually, a really good setup because with the Primate Wisdom ability, that's actually two energies in Sassian turn one, plus drawing three cards. That, that, as you said, puts a lot of pressure into the Suicune because of Brave Blade attack getting an Ocon. But that's actually the, mm. uh, the, the, the cape. But uh, Gabriel doesn't know that Joshua is full ready with the Scrapper. Yep. But Ludicolo turn two. Oh, does uh, Gabriel... Doesn't play any Tool Scrapper, though, so I don't think uh, he'll be able to kill the Zacian. The Zacian has 270 HP. Correct. Um, yeah, it might... I don't think... Yeah, I don't think Gabriel can do enough damage to kill Zacian in one turn with a full bench here. Um, and little does Gabriel know, he actually needs to find a uh, potential Marnie here so that uh, Josh does not Scrapper that cape off and kill the uh, Suicune here, assuming his uh, Zacian does live. But even if he doesn't kill the Zacian... This turn, he can always set it up to maybe be KO'd by a quick shooting or something down the road. Um, so there is that option. And uh, we'll have to see. There's a quick ball. Yeah, probably going to go with another Sobble. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't think the Suicune can quite KO the Zacian. Thanks for that cape. Yeah, correct. Because no Scrapper that actually probably is the key card of the finals. Mm -hmm. The Tula Scrapper, right? Gab yep. uh, Joshua having the option to actually Scrapper the opponent's Saiyan cape, but... Gabriel having no option at all to actually discard the giant cape of Joshua. So actually, Mr. Rondo, thanks to Ludicolo, turn two. You actually hit for 260. 10 damage two. short. <laughs> 10 damage short. And we got to the crystal cave. Yeah. And the crystal cave. So now Intellion is not enough. That's mm -hmm. actually to the scrapper. The first scrapper hitting the giant cape. Another Sassian. Yep. Yeah, I guess you, you can just bench it with no problem yeah. because the, the, the Ludicolo is already in play. And uh, Quick will probably discard the Marnie. Not sure if yep, gonna. And then... Yep, Oranguru sounds good. Also, some yep. to discard it at all. Mm -hmm. Decided to not then put the cave because Balloon looks like a better option for Oranguru. Yep, and there's the, the energy. energy. There we go. And a Brave Blade. So, Joshua, mm -hmm. even going second, putting out of pressure after Suicune hitting for 260 damage, but not enough 
thanks to the cape and right yep. now the crystal cape. So Boss in the top and Sassian getting the two first prizes. Joshua getting um, these two first prizes in the game. So fine spot for Joshua, of course. But now Gabriel just needs some Melanie and Joshua needs mm -hmm. some tool scrapper. So sorry, some uh, metal saucers. So let's see if uh, Joshua will top deck something because Joshua Han is kind of uh, tricky. So yeah, Gabriel just needs uh, Melanie and pray that Joshua cannot come back next turn. Yeah, it's looking pretty good for Joshua right now. Joshua does have a bit of a dead hand, though. It doesn't have a draw supporter or another potential way to acceleratization. So this could be a little tricky for Joshua to maybe get another KO. Um, but yeah, I think Josh is going to be in a decent spot here if he's able to take out this second Suicune. Um, unless Gabriel can get another cape on the Suicune, Josh currently does not have his second tool scrapper within his hand. Yeah, I'm yep. probably just going to see so, Bucket, yep. That's Evolution Incience, and uh, probably getting some Drizzle, probably mm -hmm. Ludicolo, but I guess for next turn, probably Lombre is also a cool option, because Lombre actually gives you the potential second Ludicolo for next turn to hit uh, a lot of damage to the opponent Sassian. Um, actually, Crystal Cave, super, super crucial for Joshua yep. too, because the 30 healing every single turn, and Suicune uh, decks uh, don't play stadiums at all, or actually... Uh, decided to put a lot of cards, uh, sorry, another cards in the deck um, um, for Suicune. So actually Drizzle getting the second cape, mm -hmm. uh, what is going to be super crucial if Joshua is not able to find the Tool Scrapper, that's the Melony, that's the Energy, that's the Ability after Evolution Incense because he probably wants to find another cards for next turn. And um, yeah, it's going to be a Blizzard Rondo knockout and Joshua yep. has literally no Marnie, no Research, no Metal Saucer. Let's see if Primate Wisdom actually hits the card he needs. Again, let's see. Yeah, I think Josh is going to draw a boss's order here, because um, he did Primate Wisdom, uh, but boss on top. So he'll have one potential Wisdom to work with. Unless he can get a deck shuffle card, he can shuffle his deck and then do another Primate Wisdom. Um, so yeah, Josh will need to find a way to build up Zacian and also find a Tool Scrapper in the same turn in order to KO the Suicune. And if Josh can't KO the Suicune, we could actually see... Um, Gabriel take control of the match and potentially uh, beat Josh here in game number two. That's correct. So, Lisa Rondo, and can't wait to see the top deck of mm -hmm. Joshua. It's going to be a Metal Saucer. It's going to be a Research, Marnie. Well, let's see. Oranguru It's another option too. And the top deck is a Boss Order again. Oh, because he put it with the primary wisdom the term yeah, before. Yeah, wisdom. Correct. Yeah. So it's yeah, gonna be saucer. No way. Oh. <laughs> no. Okay. Wow. Well. So All that's right. the thirty damage already. This just need the a potential next turn tool scrapper. So yeah. Actually, Joshua. Let's see if he goes for it. Joshua, uh, doing all right, doing okay with this top deck mm -hmm. again. Actually, I guess it's Joshua's day today. Definitely with that uh, draws and that primary wisdoms. So. Joshua putting 230 damage and just yep. waiting for a future to the scrapper. So mm -hmm. um, the stadium only heals Dragon and Metal Pokemon, so Suicune cannot be healed. So that's going to be a 230 damage for this turn and potentially knockout after a second scrapper if Joshua is able to find it because Joshua hand right now is completely uh, useless with no mm -hmm. supporter or saucer. So let's actually research this turn. Potential scoop up net is coming, but just decided to go Research. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't know if we can can kill the Zacian here. Even with another Ludicolo and a few quick shooting pings, I still don't think that is quite enough to kill Zacian. Um, even with he, even with the double quick shooting Ludicolo combo. But if it is a knockout, we actually could see Gabrielle just win the game here if Josh is unable to find a way to uh, attack again. Yeah, exactly. That's the same spot too of uh, the game before. No more frequency in play. And um, just uh, Ludicolo, another lot to be ready for a potential second Ludicolo. Uh, that's mm -hmm. Scoopernet, as we was as we were saying before. Actually, super important the Scoopernet right now to open another space for Suicune or just putting yep. the Ludicolo in hand for a potential uh, second Ludicolo later. Um, that's two Intellions already. I guess uh, the Intellions needs to focus the same Sassian because if not, Crystal Cave just heals both Sassians mm -hmm. in one turn. And yeah, actually putting energy into Drizzle, so a potential Aqua Ballet is coming maybe later. So 
uh, yeah, I guess just a quick shooting plus uh, Blizzard Rondo is going to be uh, the next turn for Gabriel. And let's see if Joshua top deck something to continue to be able uh, playing the game, right? Yeah, it's actually quite interesting that uh, Gabriel's actually choosing to quick shooting the Oranguru and not going after the Zacian here. Um, but yeah, we just see the Blizzard Rondo. And yeah, so let's see. Can Josh find a way to KO the Suicune this turn? Um, gets a medal. I think we're going to have to just see Josh potentially switch into the Guru and Intrepid Sword. He could actually... Josh could play boss here and try to maybe trap something in the active and then actually make Gabriel have a switching card and a boss. But I think Gabriel does have a scoop up net. So yeah, we just see the Intrepid Sword. Oh no. Two bosses orders to go with the one and already in his hand. Yeah, that's a lot of boss order, but not the card you want to see. What is the Tool Scrapper or just a Marnie to put all the <laughs> bosses? uh in the deck and not lose them and yeah that's actually a boss order of course you need to put pressure into yep. the sassian power up uh, but yeah you have another turn to actually survive with the sassians mm -hmm. and it's interesting how intelion decided to just go for the oranguru because uh, gabriel knows oranguru is an extra card you can draw when you are mm -hmm. actually uh, breaking or not drawing the cards you want to see every turn um gabriel knows even with kill oranguru he's gonna be at one price remaining so he needs to get the last Sassian as the last two prizes, but still yep. he decided to, yeah, Oranguru uh, draws an extra card every turn. I'm gonna just KO it. And thanks to the Scoop of Net, that new Intelion is gonna KO the Oranguru. So yeah. I, I wonder guess, actually. Yeah, I guess Joshua hmm. is in a, in a complicated spot, right? Yeah, I, I actually think it is smart to KO Guru here because you actually make it so that if Josh benches another Oranguru, you can probably KO it by using Boss and Intellion. Instead of having a Melanie Suicune a turn, you can actually kill it with your Waterfall attack if you have a boss's order. So you're actually basically saying to Josh, I'm may the math might not matter in terms of my prize trade, but this is making it so you cannot bench another Oranguru to help you draw cards. That actually is a pretty big play for uh, Gabrielle here to punish Josh. And that's actually if we flew it after uh, hitting that uh, prize uh, with uh, Intellion. And Gabrielle definitely way happier this game thanks to the second giant cape that he couldn't find the game mm -hmm. before after the capture energy. It was crucial for Joshua to take the last prize. And, well, that's Ooh. not uh, the card you want to see. So I guess nope. Joshua needs to just uh, interpret sword because uh, do you want to actually yep. bench that Doranguru and lose to a potential boss or escape rope? I guess you're just going to... Uh, yeah, checking the escape rope counts. All the escape rope are in the deck. Uh, checking the boss yep. order count. So, yeah, he decided, all right, I don't try it. So, well, that's an energy and the four boss. Yeah, all four <laughs> boss. I actually wonder if it was correct maybe to play a boss that turn and maybe try to trap something. Maybe if Gab Gabriel doesn't have much to do, just maybe make it a little bit easier for him. Even if you get Marnie too, that's one less boss you have in your deck. Um, but I think Josh at this point is just like, let me just build the Zacian up here and get it powered up. And I think it's not looking good here. For Josh, he has a Rodom phone. He can play that with a Ranguru, but again, if he benches another Ranguru, he could lose. There's Ludicolo. I still think he's short on the KO, even with the double quick shooting. I still think, I think it might, if I'm correct, I think he's 10 damage short. My math might be off, but. Yep, should be 10 short. Yep. yep. Um, but it's still uh, basically putting the pressure on the Zacian. Yeah, to, I, yeah. I, I agree with you. I guess definitely with four boss in hand, well, three before the. Mm -hmm. Interpreter, so you need to at least boss something to trap. Well, probably that didn't matter a lot, but you never know. You know, you mm -hmm. at least uh, the opponent needs to use some resources um, to come back. I mean, to actually yeah, attack with Suicune. So not using one of the three bosses, probably, uh, you know, it, it was the play, as you said, to put uh, more uh, the things more difficult for the opponent. But I guess Gabriel is in a really good spot because yeah. his hand is uh, huge. Uh, there's a lot of cards there and looks like Gabriel is just winning with a potential boss next turn because even with um, Gabriel, sorry, Joshua, finding the scrapper this turn, mm -hmm. uh, I guess the Intellion wins with the waterfall plus uh, abilities. So Gabriel just need the boss order to win the game. That's actually 10 short. It's going to be 40 yep. short thanks to the Crystal Cave. But looks like... Yep, quick shooting will be able to finish his Asian off. So Correct. I think it is game over here. Um, the only way Josh could win is if he had Tool Scrapper and a boss here, and Gabriel would also need another Suicune in play, but unfortunately, I don't think Josh is going to quite able to do it. 
Um, he's not going to be able to heal the Zacian anymore, and it will fall to a double quick shooting. Um, yeah, basically that should be GG's. I can't, I just can't think of any way for Josh to win at this point. Um, even if he killed an Italian with a boss, he would still die to Suicune. So I think that is game. And I think we're going to probably see Josh want to go first here to get that big turn one Intrepid Sword. There we go. Yep. Acknowledges the writing on the wall. And we're going to see game three here. There Both players tying it up. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I'm excited to get into it here. Josh definitely going first is a huge advantage. If Josh can build up that Satian in one turn again, that's going to be very big. But actually, Josh, oh no. No way. Doesn't seem to have a good hand. Not oh, in the no. finals. Oh! oh, the top deck quick ball saves the day. There we go. Definitely Joshua Day, you know. I was top eight. Yep. Sombo <laughs> Sword and Crucial Cards. I, I remind this top eight match with the two prize you needed plus the top deck to win. I remind this... Uh, uh, double quick ball game one to actually being in a really good spot and now we saw a brick you know in this turn one but mm -hmm. oh my goodness that's actually quick ball saving the day saucer intrepid or energy sassian hitting to 30 next turn not even hard to get you know all the cards right yeah. now turn one to actually uh, have an insane lead with the switch and the boss order Exactly. A very good turn here for Josh. He's going to be able to put on a ton of pressure onto Gabriel if he decides to bench a Suicune. And Josh can just knock it out, assuming uh, Gabriel doesn't put a, uh, a Cape of Toughness on. But even if he does, Josh could still roll on phone, potentially find the Cape or the Tool Scrapper and then Wisdom into it. Um, so yeah, it's looking pretty good for Josh right now. We'll see what Gabriel can do. He'll have to probably get two Suicunes in play or maybe one Suicune, and then make sure you have a good combo to go into another Suicune, assuming you get KO'd. And we're going to see the Capture Energy here. And actually, playing the 70 HP Sobble is making a big difference here, as he's going to be unable to do Keep Calling to get even more Sobbles in play. So the 70 HP Sobble actually kind of hurting Gabrielle a little bit here, um, as opposed to having the Keep Calling one. Correct. I definitely um, prefer the 60 HP uh, Sobble, because I guess for consistency, is way better in general in a lot of matchups and this time as you said well keep calling will be huge this turn to put a lot of sobbles in play but deciding to go 70 hp sobbles mainly probably for the dragapult matchup and yep. uh, another matchups like that is uh, you know the option for gabriel but i guess in the long term like in these finals you kind of want to have 10 less hp but having more consistency thanks to the keep uh, to the you know to the sobble attack to actually uh, putting a lot of sobbles in play. So that's actually a research. <laughs> and that's going to be a rotten phone, getting the card that you want in the top. Well, all the cards are good here. Sassian, yep. Switch, Boss, <laughs> Energy. Energy, yep. And insane pulls. Saving and actually, the Saucer. I, and... Yeah, it put Saucer on top. See and the research yes, here. Yes, Research and Brave Blade. Looks cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely want to kill the Sobble because without yeah. Intelli on a Drizzile, for sure. Um, yeah, Gabrielle's deck is moving at a very slow pace here, and now Josh needs to find a switch balloon combo with this boss to take out a uh, potential Suicune coming down. It's gonna be a good turn for Josh to maybe just kind of assert dominance because there's no Sobbles in play for Gabrielle, and if he can maybe keep punishing, um, you know, Gabrielle's potential benched, you know, Suicunes he tries to go for, even if he just benches one Sobble at a time, he can keep, you know, trying to slow them down with a boss. So I want to see here if Josh can find that switch combo. That's correct. That was a really good start for Joshua. Just bravely mm -hmm. turn two. With the Sassian ready turn one already because the Saucer energy. Yep. Um, you know, Intrepid Sword. And that's a call for family from Lota. Family. Like, All right, I don't have the Sobel option. I'm going to call for family with mm -hmm. Lota. <laughs> Probably benching Sobel and Suicune. Yep. Yep. There we go. And yeah. And... You see a quick ball. Yeah, looks so. like no option for Joshua to actually take a prize yeah. from the Suicune unless Oranguru. No, I guess even with Oranguru, you need two cards probably. Yeah, I don't think it's. Yeah, I don't quite think he'll be able to get there. Honestly, I would be fine with just maybe doing Intrepid Sword here. I don't know if you even have to do Marnie per se because I don't think. I, I mean, Gabriel hasn't done much with his hand. I actually don't. I don't know if it was right to Marnie there. I mean, Gabriel literally hasn't been doing much with his hands, so playing the Marnie, kind of, it might hurt him, but at the same time, I don't know if Marnie was correct. But definitely, Josh is still in a really good spot. He has Scrapper Boss in his hand, so if he doesn't get Marnie, he will surely most likely KO that Suicune next turn. 
correct. I guess you don't need to money, right? You just need rapid sorting and save the money with the... Gabriel had a lot of cars in hand because Gabriel had nothing, like you said. You know, yeah. it was like, yes, not that, call family, no no way to advance in the game. Um, Joshua is like, all right, I'm going to marry you and give you four cards. Maybe these cards are better for you, but uh, mm -hmm. maybe it works. Uh, but yeah, I agree with you with just intrepid sorting and saving the money. That's actually re retreating the lot that actually helps Gabriel for a potential Melony, thanks to having yep. that energy in the discard pile. So now Gabriel decided to ability uh, Fleet Flute first and uh, probably potential Melony plus attachment is happening. But I guess the crucial card, as we said before, are... Um, the giant, uh, sorry, the cape and the two scrappers from uh, Joshua, what is one in hand right now. So I guess right now Joshua is putting a lot of pressure to Gabriel. That's the Melanie, but two Sassian power up turn two with three energy first. I already took one prize, Orangur in play, double cape, two scrapper. I guess if, if mm -hmm. I guess Joshua is in a really, really good spot for now, right? Yeah, definitely for now, Josh is in a pretty commanding position. Um, I once again don't think that uh, Gabriel can KO this week or the station here, even if he does get the full bench Ludicolo. The Cape of Toughness is just really good. Not having any scrapper in Gabriel's deck is actually really hurting him here because these capes are making it really awkward for uh, Gabriel to take these uh, stations out. Um, so definitely going to be interesting to see what ends up happening here for Gabriel. He needs to find that cape here because he doesn't know Josh has a scrapper. Josh does have the scrapper, but he will probably need to find a cape at the same time if he's not killing the Zacian. Um, so there we go. We do see that enthusiastic dance. Like, the, the only way I think would be he to go, like, double Ludicolo to kill Zacian. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay. I was thinking, all right, if we yeah. see a potential double Ludicolo plus Kupomnets plus double Ludicolo, <laughs> <laughs> we have a chance. And uh, yeah, that's actually second week on Visa Rondo. Hitting for 260 10 damage shot again. Actually, damage Joshua. Again, yeah. Joshua and once managing. Again, yeah, Joshua managing really well mm -hmm. the, the bench slot the because one more Pokemon is going to be knockout for Suicune. But thanks to that, manage the, the bench with just one Sassian, one on Anguru. That's enough to survive with 10 HP plus the Crystal Cave. Actually, Joshua has yep. better cards for this matchup, as we said before. Gabriel is still trying the best because Gabriel needs a lot of cards to combo to KO, like Inteleons, Ludicolos, mm -hmm. Rodecandis, and stuff. And you should just need yep. one stadium, you know, to survive. So, yeah. Basically, the Marnie. Josh actually, yeah, Josh Marnie here actually put the tool Ooh, scrapper on top of the Primate Wisdom. Yeah, there we go. Um, so yeah, we can see the switch here into the Zacian, and then. Or he could even retreat. He already has four energy on, so he could also afford to retreat here and save the switch for later. Yeah, there yep. we go. There we go. And yeah, Josh putting yeah, Josh put the scrap on top of the deck, knowing he probably won't get Marnie because Gabriel has to Melanie to the Suicune this turn. No Marnie will be happening, so he'll keep the tool scrapper. Um so very smart to put the uh, scrapper on top of the primate wisdom there. Yeah, yeah that was so definitely think, a yeah. really smart play with the uh, Oranguru putting tool scrapper in place. So after that, uh, Marnie, there is a uh, tool scrapper in hand and Gabriel cannot Marnie, sorry, yeah, Marnie plus Melanie mm -hmm. in the same turn. You need to decide if you Marnie, you cannot attack. If you Melanie, I will scrapper you. So definitely really good play for Joshua. And I'm trying to find the option for Gabriel to win, but with one Ludicolo already played, a uh, Sassian with yep. the Cape and only one Lota, I, I guess Gabriel is really behind. And Joshua just needs two chaos for game, right? Yeah, I think Josh is in a very good spot here. Um, like, Gabriel would have to maybe, like, get a double Intelli on this turn and, like, maybe quick shooting, knock out the Zacian on the bench and then hit the active. Um, but it just, he, he can't disrupt this. The, the problem is he can't disrupt the Tool Scrapper, which means even if he gets a cape to try to protect himself, Josh does have the guaranteed Scrapper for the KO. Correct. So, yeah, with uh, Melanie, means no Marnie. Joshua just have an energy. Stadium will stay in play. Um... Research is, I mean, he had everything Joshua needs yeah. for next turn. Um, so yeah, one Ludicolo was already played. Yeah, that's another Suicune, but uh, Joshua just needs, he's gonna survive again this turn with the Sassian, mm -hmm. and Crystal Cave is gonna heal both Sassians in one turn. Um, so yeah, I guess just uh, Joshua needs to switch uh, energy, bench another Sassian. Maybe you don't even need to, but why not? Cape, research. Mm -hmm. Uh, and a Scrapper, of course, if uh, Gabriel puts the K, but I guess Gabriel is struggling a lot to try to win this game three. Looks like Joshua is going to win this uh, 
insane tournament of G Turn yep. TCG, just three prizes remaining. Gabriel trying his best, of course, with Inteleon, Ludicolo, Melanie, Suicun, uh, trying to attack for a lot of damage, but Joshua just benched two Pokemon. So yeah, trying to attack with this Inteleon, but needs a lot, needs another one, it's just a scoop of net and a red candy. But no, <laughs> that's uh Blizzard Rondo. So for 160. This stadium winning the game probably that's uh, healing 30 damage and yeah. other energy. And switch. And it's gonna be one press remaining for Joshua to win the tournament, right? Yep, at this rate, uh Josh will most likely be winning in the tournament here. I think if Josh just plays it correctly, he should be able to win. Um this Z uh the uh, Zation here can't get killed by quick shooting. Um yeah, can't get killed by quick shooting. And uh, we'll see here what he does. Yeah, there's the Brave Blade. I think Josh actually just put the Scrapper back in his deck and shuffled it, I'm pretty sure. Um, which might have been a mistake. I guess that does give uh, Gabriel one potential chance. If Josh doesn't draw the Scrapper here, um, he's not going to be able to kill the Suicune. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure he shuffled it. Because I think he wisdom it and then played the Rodom phone, if I remember correctly. So I don't know if Josh has the Scrapper. So I guess the Suicune can still survive the turn. Yep, so actually Joshua shuffled for some reason this the scrapper in the deck. He just uh, put it in the top and after two rotten phone, a scrapper mm -hmm. is not anymore in the hand or in the top deck for whatever reason, because as we said, Gabriel cannot attack plus uh, Marnie, right? So yep. that's uh you know, didn't understand a lot that Joshua play because now Maybe Joshua cannot find the scrapper next turn, so I don't yeah. I don't understand how Joshua through that opportunity, uh, you know, shuffling the scrapper in the deck when Joshua just had game in hand. So, mm -hmm. well, let's see if that brings an option for Gabriel to win if Joshua is not able to find it. But that's a boss order, so I guess it's the same, right? Yeah, so boss order, exactly. Probably winning yeah. the game for Joshua is gonna be the winner thanks to that boss order. There yep, we go. Josh is going to take the win here. There we go. Boss knockout Sobble. And there we go. Josh Sutherland beats Gabriel here in the finals to win the GG Tour tournament with Zacian, which is an awesome deck to see uh, take down in the tournament.